Chognar looks like, which is Team Noob is the one putting pressure. They're the ones taking these objectives. They're the one exerting map control. They have river dominance, as you see. They're the ones rotating through river, exerting dominance, and, and now even rotating onto uh, Seven here. Yeah, and Royal is going to try to go for that kill. Oh, Seven, not strong enough, is going to go down with that dive coming in from Leedy Kappa. The dragon has been started by Team Noob. We got Leedy Kappa over the wall, needs to try to come around. The dragon's just going to go to actually wow. we got that steal from Gancha and Royal now going in. They see the opportunity. They want to get some kills. Oh, O9 so low, goes down, but should be able to come right back up with being a bro, he is able to escape, trying to go back in for the crowd control. God Poseidon goes in, gets a kill for Liliana, still alive, a little bit low, but there's a lot of support, and 3v1, God Poseidon able to help secure another kill. Right as it comes up, both teams very aware of their timings. We do see Coco kind of being held off in the back. O9 jumps right in as Teamy does take a couple tower shots, maybe a little too early, does the ultimate have to be used? Meanwhile, Denalians is just isolated from the entire team. Being a bro was popped, and that that gives Team Noon the time to get one kill they need. They're not going to dive the tower yet, but a lot of damage still following up. Vert that gank into an objective, to more kills, to a dragon. And look at Coco here. He's going to activate his Death Embrace and try to contest Talented Player, but looks like he won't be able to get out. And Vex does a nice clean rotation to kill him. Once she gets that third tier, tier three damage item, she has Clive Sancti finished. Uh, right now, she only has Soul Reaver and War Boots, which won't be enough damage because of the amount of Sonic Boots that has been purchased by Team Noob. Look at that, three Sonic Boots on, you know, Diana, on the, the Liliana, the Max, and the Omen. They're gonna be able to absorb a lot of damage coming from Violet right now. Yeah, Lady Kappa trying to come in for an extra kill. Oh, seven to, it took way too many hits under the tower and is gonna get caught out. Talented player, meanwhile, still gets collapsed on as well. So, do so. Yeah, Ro I mean, Royal is not be able to catch anyone up. And look at how Poseidon is playing Liliana. So aggressive, landing so many of the skill shots and poking down the team. And as a result, they're they're forcing uh, the uh, Royal to back off a little bit. But Zero Nine gets out of this yeah, place by Superman. Under the tower, he is gonna eventually go down. Being a bro is popped, so that fight can't continue. Gopasan trying to use that opportunity to come back in. Oh, Nine still alive with a sliver of health. Still comes back for another stun, giving Team Newman an opportunity to jump onto Denelliot. That's a double kill for Liliana. Looks like Max actually going for Violet. Maybe a little too aggressive. Stops a little early, but still cut out. Three v one has a decent health pool, but she, oh, okay, we see. Oh, coming in Coco 1 puts down his ultimate but it's still a 3v2 and Violet's over the wall just putting out damage not quite enough yet and God Poseidon comes in 07's running out Coco 1 trying to run away but Superman's catching up God Poseidon now left alone still gets alive once again with a kill God Poseidon still hey look at this this is exactly what we talked about no one is backing out from Team New with the sliver out they're still going for extra kills now Vex joins in and Royal is at a crazy loss in that fight once again the way they are cutting this fight is insane. Poseidon goes in so aggressively. It looks like he's out of position. He gets, he takes so much damage, and he gets right out. And 0-7 is going to be able to lock down Lee Kappa here and secure the kill as Max using the liftoff ultimate. Yeah, just great use of those cooldowns. And now another high ground tower goes down. Team Noob just looking to blast through and see how much damage they can do. Still quite a bit of time left for the entire team of Royal to come back up, but the majority of them will be up in about five seconds. Team Noob, are they looking to finish it? Only three of them here. They got a lot of damage. Vex is just left alone at the core. He's going for the win, and we do see Denalians come in. So Team Noob, a, a little aggressive, but maybe worth the shot just because they're so far ahead. Last high ground tower, I mean, they just want to make sure, listen, if you're not going to let us push us in, then we'll take the entire map. Superman tries to start a fight before the tower goes down, which is the only chance that Royal has, but the health bars just aren't going down fast enough on the side of Team New. 07 is still in the middle, doing damage to everyone, eventually goes down, but we'll be still coming back up with that Ancestral Glory. Denalians now was cut out once again in the back line, trying to keep one person out of the fight, but not strong enough. Look at Teamy once just jumping in with the crowd control time and time again. So many people locked down on the side of Team Royal, and Vex9 is just putting out damage. Coco one still alive, eventually goes down. Hakai can Hakai keep the game alive, should be able to. Vex looking for a chance. Oh, Ooh, gets the kill, but Superman with a nice lockdown. You know, Team Noob can end the game by just rushing the core because of all three waves crashing onto the core here. Yeah, there's just so much more for Team Royal to have to pay attention to now, especially because of that minions. I mean, we've seen that power come out time and time again. So Team Noob once again just posturing. Poseidon has to be the one to watch out. You mentioned uh, how that fight broke down last time. Sui J Poseidon getting cut out a little wow. too early. Talented player tries to drop in, but the core's just going down way too fast. And that should be a victory for Team Noob burst and it's AOE like we talked about a lot of mobility that comes with it so we'll see how that plays out meanwhile on the side of Royal we see the full lineup 
Uh, not much. Obviously, mean, Liliana coming in, but Flash. Ooh. We get to see All him, right. boys. Okay. I mean, I was wondering. You know, no band came out this Look time. Look at that. Zero Seven is playing teaming. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be exciting to watch. He wants to get to the back line and eliminate your squishy um, 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 carries. So Flash is someone you need to shut down uh -oh. early game. So that's first blood going over to Team Noob. I mean that almost just seemed way too calculated coming out for Team Noob. And Denalians actually gets caught out trying to come for support. 07 was so low and that was the bait. And 07 still alive. And Team Noob gets yet another kill. When he goes in, but when he comes out, you can actually CC him and hit him so he can't get back to his hand. And you can look at the arrow there. That's how you counter him. When he goes back and you, you lay something down, you can actually stop him from re retrieving from his original super speed location. Uh-oh, 09 oh. gets cut out a little too far. And he can just, oh, and then dodge all that CC. So they gotta be very careful with how they're playing against Flash here. Yeah, now three person, you know, semi dive coming in from Royal, but 07 still goes in. You know, gets some decent damage, but a step too far away from the tower. That gank up top, Denelian's coming in, but I don't think it was low enough just hitting Poseidon and cuts them off with the kite. Knows he's safe. Ganja gets caught in the middle, but we do see Akai coming in with the support. Zenio comes in all the way across the map. 09 not able to keep himself alive, and the flash just going down as well. That's a sudden turnaround. And this is kind of the opposite of what we saw in game one. Royal now making best of the advantages they're given. Yeah, that was a great play there. Flash, Poseidon was focused on the Ganja. And then as a result, he actually was, he didn't super speed. Yeah, going for a little bit of that survivability, knowing that they need to stay alive in order to put out the damage that they've acquired. Uh, so we'll see how that pays out. Meanwhile, Hakai just gets taken down under the tower. The tower goes out. 07's pretty low, but that's still 2v1. The heal comes out, and we do see Hakai jumping out. Meanwhile, 07's kind of left to die. Another fight in mid lane, and the Flash jumping all the way back, kind of showcasing the power that that hero has. 09 flickers across the wall. Hakai doesn't get the knockup, but still able to chase. Should be able to get the kill. Oh, no, the stun right from the brush. Flash is the X Factor, of course. Um, not only because it's on the side of Team New, but because he's the newest hero in the game. Wow, look at that damage coming in. The second catch is leading Kappa, but not at the end. So the vacuum is not going to come through, and Team New is going to have to back out. But Poseidon, I mean, he risked nothing for that. No health loss, and now they're able to continue the pressure. You get hit by the last punch. It does double the damage, so they got to be very careful. Yeah, leading Kappa Caught across the wall, no exit there. I mean, that's three, four people jumping up. That's an easy kill for Team Noob. Yeah. From downtown. I, I mean, both, you know, again, Poseidon and Vex, I think that's where we got to keep all our eyes on. And Ganja gets cut out a little bit, has to use his ultimate to get out. Poseidon tries to jump in, gets the cycle, and talented player is going to get caught out and gets killed. Coco picking up that one right across the wall. And Team Noob with one kill, but can they turn that into an objective? They're trying to position. We do see Chognar going back to base, and 07 jumps in first wow. with that front line. The lead Kappa just had no exit, and that means that we also have Denalians on that Liliana left a slowly slipping out, and Poseidon and Coco both just jumping in. They're just cycling. A talented player actually gets caught out a little bit. Locked down from Coco. Should be able to get out for now. No, they see the rest of Team New coming in. So Coco jumps right back in with the lasso, and they're diving into the enemy team. Team Royal smartly kind of converges under their own tower and forcing Team New to back out. 09 gets caught. Poseidon jumping in with very little health. But I mean, that, that's what we saw. That, that, you know, attitude is what we saw in game one. And meanwhile, Vex said, all right, you know what? Keep him busy. I'll go take a tower. Wow. And now Team Royal's mental fortitude has been broken down. They lost focus and they're losing two people as they go down in this game. Vex jumps right back in as well to clean up. Hide in the brush. Yeah, if he had his ultimate, he would have <laughs> finished the kill. Or he could have auto-attacked uh, the Violet, but instead he decided not to. Oh, and wow. nice catch <laughs> by Poseidon. Oh, that map jump, that mobility all wow. over the map. That's insane. Well, that should be the fight then for Team Noob with Violet gone. The damage output coming up from Royal just isn't there. So you can see Noob afraid of nothing. I mean, Hakai just trying to drag the fight on so they can't focus the core and is, is spending a lot of time. So really doing the job that the Xenio needs to do in that circumstance. Xenio now low, though, has to go replenish. We got minions coming in. And so Team New positioning to see what they can do. Right now, they just have three people in the middle. They're trying to see if they have an opportunity. If not, the side lanes are pushing. And Wow, Team Noob actually gets caught out. 09 getting very low. Of course, being a bro, still up and available and doesn't have to use it. Just keeping that low health and in the enemy's face and Poseidon just taking some hits. Again, just dashes right back out and they finally get another high ground tower. And this is what Team Noob wanted to do, right? If they can't force the win, they're going to slowly dry it out from under wow. Team Noob. Wow. Oh my gosh, this Poseidon is a damage burst. Poseidon is a monster on this flash. And look at Vex there. He's not targeted and this is going to take the core down and GG for Team Noob.